Greetings once again to one and all from a rather nippy Durban. <laughs> and that sounds quite odd from a, coming from a subtropical location, but uh, there is quite a chill in there and I assume that there's, there's obviously uh, snow on the mountains or something like that that's, that's causing that. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's... Uh, there's a, there's a, the, the sun's out, but there's a chill factor, I think, that, uh, from, from the, from the wind. So, uh, hence the, <laughs> hence the wintry get up. Right. So, um, surprise, surprise, uh, 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 yet another seascape. And, uh, and this, this time, this, uh, series is, is, uh, all about Zinguazi, which is, a uh, which is, a. Uh, resort beach resort up the uh, north coast the dolphin coast of KwaZulu Natal and um, which I visited a few weeks back and and uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll tell you more about it as I, as I go um, as you can see or may or may not be able to see I've already indicated a horizon line um, I've done the cheat so uh, with my T square, so that's 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 it's done and dusted. So I don't have to cheat anymore. Um, right, let me have let me have at it. So um, just a very basic basic seascape, really, uh, with a bit of coastline, rocky reaches, and uh, and uh, oh, that's the, that's the name of my previous piece. Isn't it? As it so happens and uh, yeah so rocky sort of outcrop and a little bit of sea and a little bit of bay and then the coastline as it stretches on to the north so uh, here we here we go here we go my beloved seascapes um, as you know, I always enjoy doing a seascape, which is my thing after all. So let's just get this going first. For starters, uh, let's get kind of lines going. This is one of these charcoal sticks once again with all the, the whole bunch of little knots in it. Nevertheless, we work, work with it and maybe to our advantage as well. And this may or may not be a fairly rapid piece. I know that today or during this session we'll, we'll get along quite quickly. I've got little sage at my feet and I'm not going to disturb her lest she starts creating havoc and the same with Finn wherever she might be um, so I'll just leave them be for now anyway so I might, I might get them to say hello a little bit later you never know so I've got lots of lovely flat flat rock On this, in this sort of quadrant. Oh, here comes Finn. Finnikins, are you coming to say hello? No, she's not. Not right now, anyway. She maybe I should be working with a thicker one. Hello, Finn. Oh, she's going to just lie with Sage. Perfect. All right, then. 
Little, that'll be them two, nice and quiet. And Kit Kat is snoring away on top of the wardrobe, so we're all all cattle are present and accounted for. So we start off by, you know, establishing as we always do our. Uh, composition, a little bit of uh, contrasting, light and dark, and uh, a little bit less dark than normal, uh, than, than, our, than the last few pieces have been, and, uh, and overall that is, and the, you know, the ultimate outcome is quite sort of uh, washed out. Is perhaps the word to use and excuse the pun. Couple of rollers coming in further out. If you can hear that noise, it's Kit Kat snoring, and he can get quite loud at times, so you just have to bear with me. Bear with him. We've got a bit of a uh, further down, we've got dunes that continue along the northern shoreline stretching away up to the Tagela River um, and this being the um, the uh, Zinkwazi beach side it's still Fairly well, it is quite quite developed, um, but it's still a fairly placid little little uh, little place. Um, lovely, actually. Um, some quite expensive homes, of course, and out this way, but lovely, and it's still fairly underdeveloped like us like I said it doesn't have a great deal it's got a little shop it's got a an, an estate agents <laughs> um, and uh, other than that not a great deal it's got a nice little uh, restaurant -y pub type place down right down on the beach next to the lagoon which is which is this way around the corner That wasn't there many years ago that I remember. My brother Kim used to be uh, used to used to be stationed here as the meshing officer for the for the Natal Sharks Board, or uh, what it's called today is the uh, KwaZulu Natal Sharks Board, or just the Sharks Board. I, I'm not sure what, what what they've chosen today, but uh, but the uh, 
In fact, wasn't it called the Natal Anti-Shark Measures Board? That's what it was back in the day. And Kim was based up here in, in the early 80s, 81, 82, thereabouts, as I recall. And uh, so I, I had just started high school back in that time. And so I used to come here for, uh, come and visit school during school holidays and, and what have you. So it has a, a great deal of, a great deal of memories um, for me, holds a great deal of memories for me. Um, and visiting here again was, was just lovely because it was just, it's, it's much, much unchanged except for the, for the new developments, etc. New houses, new, it's, it's the residential area. Um, but it's, it's still much the same otherwise. It's, which is lovely because it's nice to keep it the way it always was and the way I remember it. So largely it's, it is much the same. I could quite happily find myself living in a place like this because it's out of the way of all the the multitudes further further south along the Dolphin Coast towards uh, Belito and whatnot, which is now really used to be used to be a, a quiet holiday resort but is now a bustling metropolis a heaving metropolis in fact which is uh, not really to my taste sorry to say it might be to others but not to mine so yeah um So we've got a couple of rollers coming in here. Yes, you can definitely, I'm sure you can hear Kit Kat snoring away now because that mic picks up quite faint sounds, but anyway. Right, that's the, that's, this is the gist of our composition, um, in fact, so uh, now I can just start working away, I'm going to start adding some blue now, here and there, let's, let's work with some sky, shall we, let's put some sky in, as you know I always like to put my sky in, nice and early, Said that this is quite a, a washed out sky so I'm going to be adding a lot of white to it let's just bring that little clip down here so I can work to the edge of the page which I like to, to do and as you all know I don't know what it is whether I have a little fetish for working toward to the end of the page to end the work area, surface area, but that's my thing. Some people don't mind. I know that once this piece is framed, that the, the, the five mills surrounding the, the edges are covered any, in any case, but 
So I like it that way. Um, what am I looking for now? A little bit of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A bit of lilac in here as well, just to bring that. And I'm going to soften it with both with my with my fingers as well as as well as with some white. So for now, let's just get that going. down as well to both ends top and top and left and right sides Yeah, that looks no Gosh. Um, out of out of Exercise with my with my uh, pestle arm. Shoulders burning a bit. So nice, a nice smooth vignette, which I always like to create. Blending these, blending these uh, blues and lilacs and white together. Can okay, create that nice smooth sky. I also don't want it to be too uh, um, what's the word. Um, I don't want it to have too much detail in it or, or, or busyness in it in terms of clouds or anything like that. It's just this distant blue haze. And uh, so it doesn't detract from any part of the rest of this of this piece and, and create some some kind of, I want this uh, there's a there's an attention to busyness down here in this in this area and I want to I want to create that and culminating in this just um, in this little spot over here where there's got we've got some some uh, where, where the water has carved into the into the sand into the beach sand and 
Yeah, so I want that to be our focal point over here. With lots of little puddles and <laughs> pools over here. So I want, and then we've got these just bland looking hills in the distance, which have no detail in them whatsoever. They just, they just kind of horizon stuff. So almost verging on stylized this piece and very um, minimalist. Minimalist, minimalism, minimalism. Minimalistic. I'm going to actually cheat a little bit more and just use my ruler, ruler because I don't want to, I want to just get that line nice and tight over here. So let's just do that, shall we? Right, let's just keep that there. And I just want to just accentuate this this horizon line with nice quite nice and crisply man it's gone a bit low goodness me Right, that'll do it, more or less. Okay, that'll do. So now I've got a nice crisp line over there, which is, which is lovely, and uh, that will hold that. Just hold that little transition between the the sea and the sky, so that it shows up as being quite a crisp light. Um, it's quite washed out because we're kind of looking at this piece. Ah, uh, towards midday-ish. Um, so the sun is almost directly above and it's very intense, the light and what have you. So, um, and yet, yet again, it's still wintry. Um, so, uh, I want to keep that, the integrity of that. that sort of winteriness, if you will. But it's not a very hazy day. Um, it's, it's a, it's a, there's a nice crispness and I want to keep that almost in the back of one's mind as you observe. Um, so there's not this hazy heat. It's that nice tight line is, is, is kind of indicative of, of crispness. Well, in my mind, at the very least. story and I'm sticking to it.
So I do work this quite well and right up front towards the beginning stages of the piece so that it's now established. It's now I can, I've got that out of the way and it's, yes, lovely, just, just right. Okay, might add to it a little bit more later, but we'll see. But other than that, it's got enough, it's, there's a, there's a lovely smoothness to it and, which is exactly what I want, what I am wanting. Right, next, next on the agenda is now these distant hills, distant dunes. And I'm just, I'm, I've done them first of all with, with charcoal and now I'm just going over them with a, with a pale blue because they are quite subtle in the distance and maybe even a little bit of this minty green peppermint green and perhaps even a little bit of darker green as well I shall see about that Mm, which one? Which one? Yeah, I want something a little darker than that, something olive. Yeah, there we go. And with this this closer one, I want to make it a an olive. A dark olive and bluish. Let's wash it out. So no real detail with these distant hills, but And they're not that far distant. We're talking just around the side of the bay here. And uh, I would say to this one over here, it's perhaps 500 meters. And towards the end here, it's about a kilometer. Maybe a little more. Nevertheless, I want to keep them fairly indistinct and not overpower this, this whole piece. <coughs> Even a little bluey lilac. lilac in here or, or, or rather I should say more indigo or even violet that will do almost enough I should use my eraser now for a, a wee bit just to tone it down a little bit. Smudge a little, bring some line as well. I may work these, do some more work on these hills, these dunes a little bit later as well. That 
will do for now. Right, let's break out a new, a new uh, white. Which means the other one is running flat. Yes, so many uh, many teenage young teenage memories of this of this place that still dwell in my mind many years many years later. Some lovely experiences of, on this on this particular beach. I can remember boogie boarding. To these waves and sometimes even in uh, spring tides <laughs> we've got some hectic waves here um, yeah I was never I was never a surfer much in fact not at all <laughs> um, but uh, but I did used to enjoy boogie boarding um, or what is it called yeah something like that I don't, I, what's the other word for it I don't, I don't know I, boogie boarding I don't know um, that's what I used to always call it. And uh, yeah, so lots of fun in these waters. And then of course we used to, my brother used to launch the uh, the sharks board boat out through this through this channel here, out, out to sea over here and then back in again after visiting the shark nets. Early in the morning, and uh, yeah, and then spending the day on the beach and with the dogs driving up the up the coastline all the way up to the Tequila, along the beach, along uh, up to the Tequila River. I don't know how far that is. I must I must just check. I'll, I'll let you know. But we used to drive all the way up the beach in the Land Cruiser. With the dogs gappling it along next to us. Wonderful. So some rudimentary line work at this stage, just to Of course, I've done a small A5 sized reference image as I always like to do. So I'm using that to just kind of get my bearings on, get my bearings with, and uh, and also to uh, establish the composition beyond basic color and composition and whatever the rest I'm kind of making up on the fly. So lots of lovely, um, this is obviously very dark rock, dark sort of a granite type rock, um, all the way up this coastline. Unlike the rock, the dark rocks, that the, the, the reddish rocks that were down the south coast, where the, the, last, uh, the last piece was done, Rocky Reaches, is what I call it. Um, there were, there were very, very reddish colored rocks here up the north coast, predominantly very dark, almost black rocks. So there's quite a lot of nice streaky contrast, but there's also with water sitting on top and the waves come splashing in and through the little gullies and what have you. So there's quite a lot of water sitting on the flat surface of these rocks and uh, creating reflective surface so it's also going to be something quite nice to work with and then this wonderful sort of uh, ochery uh, pale sandy colored beach to this side and again also quite sort of wash, washed out And of course, 
as I always like to do as well, is to introduce a uh, some highlights, surf, sea, what have you, with uh, with acrylic paint, and I'll do that during the next session. Bring in some nice washes of colour here. So a few different, a few different greens and blues. Turquoises. Just to kind of indicate that the multitude of facets lilacs as well of course all those facets of the of the surface of the water Now I want to use my eraser here, but just to smooth some of these, some of this work out here, and I can I can go over it again with my white pastel or, or lighter coloured pastels as well, just to just to create some of that wonderful streaky light coloured foam on the surface that 
comes after the wave, the previous wave has washed on through. to disturb the, the little girls at all, I don't think, because they're fast asleep here on my feet and I just want to leave them that way. He thinks. Yes, you can definitely hear Kit Kat snoring now, I'm sure. Let's get some, some, hmm, I think a little bit more charcoal work over here is what's required to start to bring up some more definition in these, in these rocks over here. Also accentuate some of the very darker, darker areas with uh, compressed charcoal. But for now, this will suffice. Let's move this back up top here. And this one as well. Oopsie, 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 oopsie. It's time to introduce a little bit of the sandy area. Um, right, I'm going to use this very pale peach 
and then wash that out quite a lot with white just to get some of the some of the swirls and swishes of this sand yeah just stop working that in a little bit now some where is that color no it's too a few swirls and what have you oh come on get, get a grip guy some white here and of course don't forget at this stage I'm still working fairly rudimentarily rudimentarily um, so I'm just getting the, the feel of this the energy and the swish and the swirls and the and the and the just the feeling of how this water surges in and around and leaves this trail of of carved sand and then I just want to smooth it out a little bit because this is a very basic rendering at this stage and uh, I shall endeavor to work this up quite a substantial amount more tomorrow during the next session 
So now it's okay just to get that sense of motion and, and energy. Kit, you really are making quite a noise there. Progressively, just as well, we've only got a few minutes left. I really hope it's not too intrusive on the on the sound. Goodness me! So Kit Kat has hurt his paw. I don't know. He's he's obviously he's caught the underside of his right hand front foot pad on some on a fence or something like that and he's just injured his the pad of his foot so he's limping about today a bit and what not me I hope you're not all falling asleep listening to Kit Kats droning away here snoring <laughs> So very really straightforward sort of seascape this, but uh, hopefully it will convey quite an interesting sort of energy and appeal. And 
some recognizability to, to, to those North Coasters, people who would frequent this particular part of the world. Perhaps you even live there, if you're lucky enough. Not two years now. Just the last couple of minutes for today's session. Just working some soft, sort of peachy colors to to. juxtaposed with the, the browns and the oranges and yellows just adds a little bit more form and texture and and also ambience Yeah, so you can see where the waves come surging in and around this, around these rocks, and perhaps even breaching through to the to the other side to the other side of the rocks as well. And you know, because this is a this is a uh, part of the beach that extends way further on and up and over the top to the lagoon, and uh, which is over to the left here uh, and there's quite a wide expansive beach and quite steeply raked at the um, on the shoreline and then sort of curving over and then sort of gradually receding back down towards the lagoon that we've got this this uh, further down to the south here to the right we've got the the coastline that runs around the around the edge around the corner heading south and that's another sort of more rocky type beach but uh, well there's beach but there's more rocks uh, lots of little gullies and things like that so this is the swimming beach there's not so much and and where they launch the launch the ski boats and so on on this side you don't really want to swim on the other side unless you want to do snorkeling and what have you but uh, it's it's quite rocky rocky and when it gets when the waves get angry it's pretty tre treacherous you really do get some quite heavy surf up this up this way very good surfing conditions, of course, as well, up at Sinkwazi. Right, I think we're done for the day, done for the session, and I shall take up my pastels again during the next so thank you for joining me today um thank you for uh for sharing and caring and whatnot and uh, to any any to anyone new who happens to have landed on my on my channel uh please uh well if you like what you see please hit the subscribe button and and of course the bell icon so that you get any notifications of any further uploads that i might make and uh yeah I, I do i do post fairly regularly i haven't been for the last oh gosh week or so um but uh nevertheless um yeah welcome and uh and to to my existing subscribers thank you for sticking with me and thank you for your support and your kind words and what have you in the comments please feel free to comment always um if you have any queries please do so um 
yeah, whatever it is. And please don't uh, don't hesitate to share. <laughs> I really appreciate that as well. So uh, yes, have a fantastic day further. Be kind, be caring, be gentle, be loving, etc., etc. And uh, I would I bid you oodles and oodles of toodles. So until the next session, um, take care. Have a fantastic day ahead, and see you again on the flip side. Bye then. And don't ever forget to doodle.